Hello guys Hello. and welcome back. For those of you who don't know us, we are Desiree and Fabio and we are currently converting a Sprinter van into a tiny home on wheels. Yes guys, today's week we're gonna work on the kitchen frame, we're gonna start to install some entertainment devices in the car, so when it's raining we got something to do. Yes, and we're also gonna put some colors in the car. We finished the ceiling <laughs> and uh, now we're actually gonna start to make the structure of the kitchen yes yeah? we're gonna start to frame our kitchen this is just a prototype that mm -hmm. we put up to see if we yeah. like the measurements with some scrap wood and now we're gonna do it with the proper one mm -hmm. let's do it Good morning guys! Good morning! Yesterday we started to frame our kitchen, you can see it here right behind us and we built the kitchen quite high because we are both really tall. Yeah, and uh, probably we actually built it too high. Yes! So now we <laughs> will figure out actually um, how it's gonna work out. We need to get the fridge from the inside, put it inside the chest uh, underneath the frame of the kitchen and see actually if it fits or not. It's definitely gonna fit. Yeah. The only thing if we actually can lower a little bit more the, the structure itself. Yeah, we have a huge fridge. That's why we need to check out if the fridge is still fitting underneath the frame. And that's what we're gonna do now. Do you like it, guys? Yeah. <laughs> it's huge! <laughs> huge, how many liters is it? Almost 100. Almost 100 liters. Gonna have a lot of storage here. Fill it up. And freezer too. Everything in the bottom. One hand okay, in the bottom. Yeah. Someone wants an ice cream? No problem. <laughs> That's pretty much how the fridge is gonna sit. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks really good and snug. It's a 12 volts compressor fridge, so I'm just gonna run out of the 12 volts system. We're really, really happy with it. No? Super happy. I am speechless. I love <laughs> this beauty already. Should we leave it like this? Got two fingers pretty much of space on top of the fridge. We're gonna leave actually the back of the fridge like this. We're not gonna cover it with plywood and anything because we want to have like a maximum ventilation for the fridge as possible. So we're gonna leave that open. And um, yeah, now we're just gonna think about what to do with the frame. Yeah. So guys, what I'm doing now is actually taking all the things apart, all the screws apart and down because we actually decided that it was definitely too high the um, countertop level so we want to lower and we're going to lower up of uh, 2 cm How are we going to do it? We're just going to take the 1 cm one side, 1 cm at the bottom of all the 4 studs and so everything is going to get lower to me, uh, 2 cm and that's going to be plenty for us, plenty for the fridge as well and it's going to be a good size for us. No? Yes, so we're going to have a perfect height for cutting, it's still really high, we're going to end up on 91 cm yeah. of height for the kitchen which is perfect for us. Yeah, yeah. And why we are not just taking 2 cm from one side here is because we already made the pocket holes and mm -hmm. if we would take out 2 cm they... We're just going to cut inside the pocket holes so we need to remake them and uh, there's gonna be a little bit more challenging after we need to actually remake the studs again. Yeah. So we're gonna try like this. If it works, we're gonna keep it. If it doesn't work, we're just gonna redo it. Yeah.
What happened to the seven millimeters, baby? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it straight? Is it straight? No. It's definitely not. But... After screwing the kitchen frame together, we started to paint it and also we decided to start a new job in the van. Hello guys! Hello! Today we are working on something that seems to be like a minor job but it needs to be done before we start with the cladding of the wall because we want it to be hidden under the cladding. And what I'm talking about is this TV here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this TV here? Yes, we want to have a TV in the van because we like to play with the Switch and we love to watch some Netflix. So that's why we're gonna install a TV in the van. And as you can see here already, we have already attached a aluminum profile, which is gonna hold the TV. Yes. And we run into a little bit of a problem right now. Nothing in the van is straight, of course not the walls. So if we attach the TV mount flush to the profile now, it's... I'm gonna show you like this, it's <laughs> easier. Yes. If we attach the TV mount flush to the profile now, the TV is completely tilted and goes down. And of mm -hmm. course, that's not what we want. So what we're gonna work on now is a little spacer that goes underneath here, underneath the TV mount to straighten the TV so we can watch nice and comfortably in the van. Yeah, and I don't need to order like this all the time. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we're gonna work on now. First thing we did, of course, was to measure everything. And we measured first thing the gap that the spacer needs to fill. And then we're gonna cut it in the triangle. It's gonna make sense after when I show it to you. <laughs> so it can just slide in under the TV mount. So guys, I just finished the piece we're gonna use as a spacer. It's this guy here. We just custom made this piece and it's gonna be sitting between the um, aluminum profile and the mount of the TV, the arm of the TV. So now we're just gonna take the TV out and uh, install this guy. Good morning guys, it's another day. I uh, just want to show you what we have done yesterday, what we achieved at the end. We mounted the arm. Look at this bad boy. Looks so good. As you can see here, uh, the wood that we cut yesterday, that we made it, it fits perfect underneath. We put also some balls and nuts. And now it's super, super stable. We also try with the TV, it's super good. The height that we're gonna have it on the bed is gonna be perfect. And there is of course always, you can always adjust it a little bit, but we probably not gonna have need to. And that's it. So this job is done. Me and Daisy, we just tried to figure out how to cover this wall here. It's gonna be pretty much whole cladding. And we just tried to take some measurement and try to figure out also this kind of corner it's gonna be created between the ceiling and the wall. Um, so yeah, just gonna take some measurement and cut some wood. So guys, me and Daisy just figured out a few stuff that we needed to do in order to put the cladding on that wall that we saw before. And that's the result. We're just gonna make these pieces here 
Daisy now is just gonna sand it so they're gonna be ready to paint and we needed to do some adjustment of the cladding of course it's never gonna be straight but here you can see this hole here is the notch we took out for the TV holder so actually the TV holder can close and open freely and uh, pretty much this part here you see it's like way way thinner and this part is the one is gonna go underneath the cupboards so we need to actually cut half of it took us two hours to cut five pieces of wood yeah and a few attempts actually to do it too on the to-do list for today is finishing all the connections that the car has on the right side mm -hmm. Fabio's already working on that and after it is finally time to attach all the beautiful cladding you can already see there's a little bit of color going on to this wall mm -hmm. and yeah that's what we're gonna work on today So guys, that's it for this week's video. We hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or just want to say hello to us, please leave a comment down below. Yes, guys. And if you want to see how the van is going to turn out and you want to follow us, just subscribe. And if you do, we're going to see you next week. Bye. Bye. Look, when I put my arms up, it's nice, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Wait, on the Sprinter van, no. On this print event doesn't work. This so doesn't curious. work anymore. <laughs> this print event is not behind us. <laughs> yes, guys, this week we are working on the kitchen frame. Kitchen frame. <laughs> there is always hard to do this intro and outro. My god. It's harder than actually make the van. Taking